Capcom is known for its top tier franchises, Mega Man, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, but Lost in the Mix is an NES classic that I truly believe is one of the best games on the console. Little Nemo the Dream Master tells the tale of Nemo, no no no, not the fish, but a 9 year old boy who's invited to Slumberland by the princess to be her playmate. And no you pervs, not that type of playmate. So the game starts off and immediately Nemo is met by some crazy ass homeless clown guy that gives you the lowdown. This happens in pretty much every level where some crazy nightmarish being tries to heed some advice your way. I've heard there's a city in... The clouds! Well thank you, green scary Muppet Man. Alright, so what about the gameplay? This is where it gets good. Throughout the game, you're introduced to a number of different animals that will actually help you out along your way. All you have to do is use your candy to put them in a drug-induced sleep. And then BAM! They're yours for the taking! Further proving my theory that animals like candy. He's eating a candy cane! Each animal has different skills. Some dig dirt, some climb walls, some help you fly. And some mysteriously have mallets to beat in walls with. Regardless, each of them add a cool element to the game that you didn't see a lot in games back then. Off the top of my head, I can't think of another NES game besides Mario 3 that allows you to swim, fly, and use power-ups. One last thing about Nemo, it's hard. But let's be honest, would you really have it any other way? Nothing says overlooked NES classic like hard, candy-induced cane beatdowns of dream animals. It's awesome.